I'm now going to discuss additional programming track functions. Locomotive decoders don't just give the loco an address, they control the motor speed and how horn loco performs. And if you have additional functions, it also allocates power to each of those on command. And the first thing that we're going to do is just do a reset on this decoder. It's a lens decoder, so we'll use the lens reset system. So I press F into program. And if I scroll around until it says reset there, I'm going to enter it and enter again to confirm. You will see that it actually goes through a large number of CVs and sets them back to a factory default. This will also put the locomotive address back to um, 3. Now I'll put the loco on a set of orders to illustrate my next few points. So the locomotive has been fitted with a length standard 8 pin decoder. Um, it's on the factory setting of address 3 and all the other settings are as factory. So it's 28 speed steps so I'll scroll it up to maximum speed. You can see it's got quick acceleration and deceleration. I'm now going to just quickly look at some of the CVs, the configurable variables on the locomotive. So if we go back to the programming track. The Lent system has the, the direct access where you can go in, change address, maximum speed, starting voltage, deceleration and acceleration. And these are all changing individual CVs. If I can escape out of there and actually go to the CV menu itself, CV1 there is your short address, the two digit address. CV2 is the start voltage, the voltage that is applied to get the motor moving. CV3 is your acceleration. So what I'm going to do here is clear that value and put a higher value in. So I'm going to increase the rate, decrease the rate of acceleration. CV4 is deceleration. So again, I'm going to read it and put an exaggerated value in there. CV5 is maximum speed. What I'm going to do is reduce that. CV6 is your median speed for calculating a speed curve. Again, what I'm going to do is reduce it just a little bit. The Make sure that the CV6 value is less than CV5 value, otherwise you'll get some peculiar results. So we've gone through and we've changed all those settings. You should now see the effects. So I'm going to ramp it up to full speed. You see that it's accelerating slowly. And that is probably now the top speed of the loco. And as I pull the speed right down, the loco will decelerate slowly as well. So you can give them more realistic speeds for the, the loco concerned. Again, if you're not happy with the, the settings, you can go back and tweak them all on the programming track. In this case, I'm just going to go and reset them back to factory defaults.